Hey everybody, welcome to the card of the day. I um, This is on my Facebook group, as you know, and I think I'm going to extend it to my Instagram. If you are liking it on Instagram, give it a thumbs up. We'll see if it works. I, it might be in the right place. Uh, and here's my new business card that I always place there because I lost my old one. So there's me. And isn't this cool? These are my... Uh, that's me as the Nine of Cups, which is not the card of the day today. Okay, but I will get to it. There I am, KarenRontowski.com. Today we're looking at the Ten of Swords, and I am on a week message about frequency. Um, I have a podcast. Well, you may know my podcast, Paranormal Karen, but I have a podcast coming out in January that I pre-taped, which was pretty amazing. Which was a friend of mine channeling a fallen angel, and where we, where we how we avoid them sort of but it actually was a very enlightening conversation and not at all what you think it's going to be but he talked about the frequency you are on and he got me very that was the fallen angel and he got me very stuck on the word frequency and you have to understand where you are so if we're going to talk about a negative frequency because one of the questions i asked him was do people have personal demons and his answer was they don't have like each person has one but say you're an alcoholic you are on a frequency with a particular fallen angel. I'll say fallen angel because I don't want to scare anyone here. Like we're, we're into tarot, obviously, but not into crazy stuff. But that got me thinking about the frequency that you are on, how you have to understand your frequency. Now, this card, I... A, a lot of people hate it, but I always try to find the positive in a card. Ten of Swords, is obviously, Ten Swords in his back, not good. Um, everything here are the positive points about this card or what you can look at. It's all done. Everything is calm and settled. If you want to get really detailed, the blue is the subconscious, the yellow is the conscious, and the black, black in tarot can either be ignorance or it can be... Um, uh, the exact opposite, like enlightenment, like the occult is it's about all colors. So it has double meaning depending on what card it's in and whatnot. Um, so, uh, where are we now? Two minutes. I'm already over what I wanted to say, but the two things I love about this card, I'm over time with what I wanted to say. Um, I love these little fingers. A lot of people don't notice these little fingers are in Yogi as in get up turn around. Uh, so the two things about this card I want you to remember is we've hit rock bottom. We're about to get up and turn this around. And right before we hit New Year's, I hope everything, everybody had a good weekend or, you know, settled in. There was a very strange, exhausting energy. And at, after I woke up on January 1st, I was like, oh, this changed. And a friend of mine, uh, Elaine said, maybe it's all the hope, but whatever it was, it changed. And I feel like I want to start 2021 here. We have turned this around. We are now aware of our frequency. No more feeling sorry for ourselves. No more, it's not going to work. No more, I can't do this. We are changing our frequency to something higher that is flexible with change. You pick it. Do you want to be more understanding? I know I do. That's a good one for me. Um, do you want to be happier? It is not about, can I leave the house? Do I have to wear a mask? Who is over here? I don't have a boyfriend. I heard that for about a week. I don't have a husband. And it made me insane. Uh, people don't have food. Uh, so don't worry if you don't have a husband. But right now you're changing your frequency. Maybe you're changing your frequency to that of a wife. But here, that'll, that'll attract a husband. But here's what you have to know. I understand and create my frequency. You can change that. So it is now time to change to the frequency you want. If you're a wife, start to act like a wife. Okay? Don't act like someone that wants to date a lot. I act like someone who wants to date a lot. Um, I understand and create my frequency because I do want to date a lot. Um, so there is your mantra today. I understand and create my frequency. Go make your day with that.